Hello everyone. In my previous video, I discussed strategies in evaluating these indeterminate limits. Today, we're going to solve the following limit problems, which are indeterminate, and we will apply the tips that were mentioned in that video to evaluate these limits. Let's get started. Clearly, this first limit here is of an indeterminate form infinity over infinity. Therefore, we can apply El Hopital's rule and we'll get here limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of ln of 5x which is equal to 1 over 5x times the derivative of 5x which is equal to 5 over the derivative of this denominator here, but this denominator is just x raised to 2 thirds. So by power rule, this is just equal to 2 thirds x raised to negative 1 third. Now our numerator is just equal to 1 over x, so we can cancel this one, 1 over x. And if you look at the limit of the numerator and denominator, so of course this 1 over x here goes to 0. And the denominator also goes to 0 because this is 2 over 3x raised to 1 third. So it also goes to 0 when x goes to infinity. But before you apply El Hopital's rule again, make sure to simplify the expression. So this expression here is just equal to limit as x approaches infinity, so the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. And then when we move this x here to the denominator, so that is x raised to negative 1 third times x, so that is x raised to 2 thirds. And clearly, we can already evaluate the limit, and the limit is just equal to 0, because the denominator increases without bound. Next problem. So let's find the limit of tangent x minus x all over x cubed as x approaches 0. So as x approaches 0, our numerator approaches tangent of 0 is 0 minus 0. So it approaches 0 and also the denominator approaches 0. So this is of the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we can apply El Hopital's rule here and we'll get limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of tangent is uh, secant squared x minus derivative of x, so that is 1, over derivative of x cubed, so that is uh, 3x squared. Now, can we already determine the limit? So the limit of the denominator is 0, and the limit of the numerator, secant of 0, is equal to 1. So the limit of the numerator is 1 minus 1, which is again 0. So this limit, again, has the form 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate limit. And since it is in the form 0 over 0, we may apply, again, El Hopital's rule. And we'll get here limit as x approaches 0 of derivative of uh, secant squared x. So that is equal to you bring down the power, you subtract 1 from the power, times the derivative of the base, which is secant x, because you have to treat this as secant x quantity squared. So you apply the power rule with the chain rule. So 2 times secant x times the derivative of the base, derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And then derivative of 1 is 0. And then over derivative of 3x squared, so that is equal to 6x. And we can simplify this to uh, 2 secant squared x and then tangent x over 6x. Now, the limit of the denominator is 0. What's the limit of our numerator? So secant of 0 is 1, but tangent of 0 is 0. So again, the limit of the numerator is 0, so this has the form 0 over 0 again. But there is hope here, because if we look at the denominator, 
the derivative will now be equal to 6. So the derivative won't approach 0 as x approaches 0. So by applying El Hopital's rule again, we'll get here limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator. So here we treat this numerator as a product. Okay, product of uh, 2 secant squared x times tangent x. So let's compute first for the derivative of uh, 2 secant squared x. So that will be 4 secant x and then times the derivative of secant x is uh, secant x tangent x. And then times, just copy the second factor, tangent x. And then plus, just copy the first factor, 2 secant squared x times the derivative of tangent x, which is uh, secant squared x. And all over, the derivative of 6x, which is equal to 6. And now we can already apply quotient rule because uh, the limit of the denominator is not equal to 0. So the limit of this uh, first uh, product here is just equal to 0 because tangent x goes to 0 as x approaches 0. So this first product here will go to 0 and then secant x will go to 1. So this goes to 1 and then this goes to 1. So therefore our limit is just equal to 2 over 6 which is equal to 1 third. Next problem. Let's evaluate this uh, limit here, limit of uh, this uh, difference as t approaches 1. Now, what is the form of this limit? Note that when t approaches uh, 1 from the left, then this uh, denominator here will approach uh, 0 but from the left because uh, t is less than 1. So, uh, a number less than 1 minus 1 will be less than 0 and the numerator will approach 2 so 2 over a small negative number that will be a large negative so that will be like a negative infinity it will approach negative infinity and then minus what is the form of the limit of this 2 over l and t so this will approach 0 but it will also approach 0 from the left because t is less than 1. So that will be a negative number. So 2 over 0 from the left. So also 2 over l and t will approach negative infinity. And it is clear here that this is an indeterminate form, infinity minus infinity. And if we look also to the case when t approaches 1 from the right. So when t approaches 1 from the right, so this will approach 0 from the right. And again, the numerator will approach 2. So 2 over a small positive number. So that is a large positive number. So the first fraction will approach infinity. And again, when t approaches 1 from the right, this will also approach 0 from the right because ln of 1 is 0, and the ln is an increasing function. So again, 2 over 0 from the right, so that will also approach infinity. So this is again infinity minus infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So clearly, this limit has the form infinity minus infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So one of our strategies in evaluating this limit, infinity minus infinity, is to combine this difference into a single fraction. So if we use that technique, then we can write this one, limit as t approaches 1 of combining these two fractions into a single fraction, t minus 1 times l and t. So the numerator of the first fraction will be 2t ln t. It's like multiplying ln t to the numerator and denominator of this one. So ln t times ln t. And then to get the equivalent fraction for this one, it's like multiplying both the numerator and denominator by t minus 1. 
So we'll get there minus 2t and then plus positive 2. So I already distributed the negative 2 to the quantity t minus 1. So we'll get here minus 2t and then plus 2. Now, what is the limit of uh, this uh, fraction here as t approaches 1? So this uh, approaches 0, ln of 1 is 0. And then you have here minus 2 plus 2. So that is equal to 0. And the denominator also approaches 0. So we have transformed this limit form into the form 0 over 0. And the good thing about this one is we can already apply El Hopital's rule. So by applying El Hopital's rule, we get limit as t approaches 1 of a derivative of a product. Okay, so we need to take the derivative of the numerator over derivative of the denominator. So using the derivative of a product for this one, so we can treat it as product of 2t and ln t. So let's take the derivative of 2t first. So we have here 2 and then ln t. And then plus, let's take the derivative of ln t, which is 1 over t. And then minus derivative of 2t, so that is just minus 2 and then plus 0. And then all over, again, derivative of a product, derivative of t minus 1, so that is just 1 times ln t. And then plus t minus 1 times the derivative of ln t, so that is 1 over t. Now, let's uh, simplify this fraction first. So, we'll have here limit as t approaches 1 of uh, 2 ln t and then plus uh, 2 and then minus 2. So, that is equal to 0. And then over, you have here ln t and then let's distribute that 1 over t. We'll get here plus 1 and then minus 1 over t. Now, what is the limit of this uh, fraction here? So as uh, t approaches 1, so the numerator will approach uh, 2 ln 1, so that is 0. And the denominator will approach, uh, this is ln of 1, so that is 0. And then 1 minus uh, 1 over 1, so that is also equal to 0. Again, it has the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So here we can apply El Hopital's rule again. And we'll get limit as t approaches 1 of derivative of 2 ln t. So that is 2 over t. And then over derivative of ln t is 1 over t. And then plus 0 derivative of 1 over t. So that is just t raised to negative 1. So you'll get here 1 over t squared. So that is plus 1 over t squared. And now we can already apply quotient rule because the limit of the denominator is not equal to 1. So this is just equal to 2 over 1 which is equal to 2 over 1 over 1 is 1 plus 1 over 1 squared is 1. So this is just equal to 1.